Good morning, Mass Bomb staff and students. This is Mr. Lon with your Thursday D Day announcements. Students, a couple of reminders from Mr. Zwolak. Reach out to him if you are bilingual and want to apply for the seal of biliteracy. Also, if you are interested in the Esperanza College trip and you are in the 11th and 12th grade and bilingual, see Mr. Zwolak. Uh, you can see Mr. Zwolak in room 401. Upcoming events, Friday the 16th is the half day for Teacher PD. Okay. New one on the upcoming events. This is open to all. Friday the 23rd, the last day before break, it is the ugly holiday sweater competition. All right. Staff, students, um, open to all of you. Open to all of you that just wear ugly holiday sweaters or ugly sweaters or in the holidays and might win by accident. Okay. And as always, our number one priority as educators at Mass Bomb is to keep you safe and healthy so that you can learn. So students, that means everybody has a staff member that they trust that is their favorite staff member. Everybody does. I know everybody does. Reach out to that person. If you have concerns or problems, because we are here to support you. Reminder about the Panther Cafe menu for Friday. This coincides with lessons that I have seen Chef Tim and Chef Allen teaching their culinary classes, their amazing culinary classes on starches. I learned some things, okay? Um, and Chef Allen's today, I learned how to cook better home fries. I will say that much. Um, all right, the items, the menu items are rice and beans with fried chicken thighs, $7. Stuffed baked potato with beef and chili and cheese or with bacon and cheese, that's $7 as well. Fried mac and cheese bites, that's what I predict will be the big hit on the menu. All right, iced coffee, uh, citrus punch, yes, iced coffee is $3, citrus punch. $2. NASA celebrates the hour of code. This is from Ms. Higgins in continuing uh, recognition of Computer Science Week. One of NASA's current missions is to start a manned space colony on the southern pole of the moon. I like that. Why do I like that? I just like it. The mission is called the Artemis mission, and it is in phase one where they are sending an unmanned super shuttle on a flight path around the moon and back to learn about this mission and explore how robots and drones will be used to help this mission. Join the Drones and Robots Club on Tuesday after school from 3.40 to 4. We look forward to seeing you there. All right, that's awesome. Um, continuing, continuing. Yonder pouches. You've heard of yonder students, right? The Multicultural Club meets today in room 605 with Mr. King from 245 to 345. The Gamers Club today is with Mr. Lamumba, 323. Rubik's Cube Club every day with Miss Walker, 7 to 730 in room 313. The Rep Your Shop Rap Contest. All right. Mr. Thomas is raising the roof a little bit with this. Okay. Remember the deadline for submission is December the 15th, and to this point, you know, only Mr. Pfeiffer, Mr. Pfeiffer is the only person that is stepping up with some bars. So here we go. This is from Mr. Thomas. Rep your shop subject rap contest deadline is December the 15th. Mr. Thomas says, I saw with my very own eyes the absolute bars automotive shop was putting together. Y'all have to either get somebody brave to step up and record them or hype up Mr. Pfeiffer to record. It's another class I observed today. It was amazing. Mr. Pfeiffer had his entire auto shop around Tyreek Johnson's car, and they were um, investigating um, the codes that come up. Anyway, back to the Rep Your Shop Rap Contest. A carpentry student said he would rep his shop, but since then has stepped back somewhat, shaking my head. I heard that plumbing is putting, putting together some lines, but might be letting Quest for Perfect get in the way of 
good enough. All right. And HRT Lady Panther was spinning some rhymes nicely in the hallway and said, they're trying to get me to rep our shop. I might. A couple of ninth graders said they try to rep some of their favorite subject areas, but they don't think they can handle the beat selection. Hmm. Any dark horses out there? I don't know. Is somebody going to rep the administration shop? Maybe not. But maybe so. I so much miss the days when Mass Bomb had confident rhymers. You know what, Mr. Thomas? I do too. I do too. We might just have to have another year where the mathematics department dominates the arena of lyricism. All right, Mr. Thomas, you had to go there, didn't you? Are you really going to let these slant rhymes, next slide, go uncontested? And see, here's the thing, Mr. Thomas. I am not going to spit these bars myself. They are not mine. Okay? So if you want to record these for the morning announcements, uh, you are more than welcome to do that, and I will play them. Um, all right. Continuing on. Mr. Thomas is calling out all the shops. Miss Linscombe is calling out all those with talent. At the Mass Bomb Talent Show. Yes. Remember about the four for four. Mr. Diggs is watching you like a hawk. As you come in every morning to see if you have your uniform. If you have passed through with your yonder pouch, etc., etc. Social media. The Mass Bomb staff and student shout outs for Ms. Higgins. I'd like to shout out <coughs> Patience Austin Geiger. Jaden Caraballo. Orlando Durant Chapman. Amira Hartage, Ajanique Jeter, Nimaya Laurent, Anila Lewis, Kasim Mitchell, Ethan Wynn, Omira Lee, Sanchez Valentin, Samantha Simmons, Sadiq Smith, and Kevin Thatch. When Miss Higgins covered their world history class, students got right to work. Some worked independently or with a partner. Some formed a larger group to read through the article and discuss the questions, but every student participated in thoughtful, scholarly discussions. All of these students earned nine. PBIS points for the class for being respectful, responsible, and safe. Thank you. And keep up the great work. Ms. Higgins, thank you for that shout out of your students. That's uh, not your students, but, well, they're all our students, but a class that you were covering. Hey, kids, wonderful work. Hey, guess what? Today is National Pretend to Be a Time Traveler Day. Again, I have heard it said that there is no such thing as time travel because in that case, time would be a circle and we would meet a time traveler because they would just be instantaneous and pervasive with the circle of time. I don't know if that's true. Happy National Pretend to be a Time Traveler Day. Also, it is National Brownie Day. All I'm going to say uh, all the hate and I do on food in the National Days portion of the morning announcements. Brownies are great, but but a great brownie is known by great chocolate chunks within the brownie. If it doesn't have them, don't even step to me with your brownie. We're Mass Bomb. We build the future. You have an amazing Thursday.